I'm very proud to report that the governor signed House Bill 5245. Uh, it is now law. Uh, this truly is legislation that gives a voice to the voiceless. It's landmark legislation that I have uh, worked on now for over two years uh, that, uh, putting simply, allows the most vulnerable population, uh, those children that have been uh, gone through unthinkable trauma, have been sexually assaulted, it allows those children in that most vulnerable population, it gives assurances that they are going to be seen uh, by the most qualified professional. Uh, it's legislation that I have worked on for now over two years in, in conjunction with uh, very closely with Dr. Channing Petrock, who is a godsend here in the Peoria area. She is a, a certified forensic evidence sexual assault physician, uh, which we need more of. And what this legislation does is allow those professionals such as herself the ability to see this most vulnerable population. When you talk to certain people, they think, oh yeah, well that sounds like it's a, a no-brainer bill or something that, that, that makes all the sense in the world. But when you start to break it down and you know that there's so many different entities like the Attorney General's Office, the state's attorneys, law enforcement like the state police, uh, different um, child advocacy centers, uh, associations that represent places like the Center for Prevention of Abuse, nurses, hospitals, the Med Society, all of those entities have a say in legislation like this because this is truly landmark legislation. For the first of its kind, it's uh, differentiating um, a, a sexual assault victim uh, between a, an adolescent and an adult. Before this legislation, there's really no difference uh, in statute on what you do for a five-year-old or a 25-year-old uh, that was sexually assaulted. Uh, this really gives a voice to the voiceless. It puts some thought into it in pediatrics, which is, which is very, very important. Uh, many people didn't think that uh, I could get this legislation passed. I'm proud to say not only did I get it passed, uh, but I have got it passed unanimously. And that, that's a rare thing, especially in this toxic environment that we have in, in Springfield, uh, where a piece of landmark legislation like this passes unanimously. So I'm proud to report that the goal that I had on day one is now what we achieved by getting this bill passed. Uh, and that is allowing uh, the most vulnerable population, uh, giving them a voice so that they can be seen by the most qualified professionals. They've already gone through unthinkable trauma. And sometimes a forensic uh, evidence sexual assault kit, if not done properly especially, uh, can be almost equally as traumatic. Making sure those that are in the most vulnerable population are cared for by the most qualified professionals we were able to do that with this legislation and provide a voice for the voiceless.